I'm Rick Johansson and this is the Iron Echo Design Channel. Today we're going to go over a quick tutorial on how to adjust the kerning or space between text using Inkscape. Let's begin with the real life example. So choose the text selection tool and let's write crate and barrel. This is the Arial font, pretty common font, just set to bold. And you can see that's the way that it comes. That's the way, that's the spacing that it's defaulted to. Let's say you want to expand it. So you go up here, there's a setting for character spacing. Let's go with 50. So we're, we're choosing 50 pixels between each character and it pulls it apart. So that's very useful, very common application. But in this case for Crate and Barrel, their, their actual logo is very close to Arial and they have it tight together. So let's, let's, I just did an undo to go back to the original. So here we're back to the original crate and barrel default setting, but now we're going to choose, make sure you're on the text selection tool and we're going to go negative. This is, this is the, um, the next level. So negative 10 and you've pulled it together. And just to give you an example, a lot of times a branding, especially for text fonts, they're using this type of thing that you don't really notice. So like, if you ever noticed the Marvel logo, I mean, that is tight. And then if you look at Nissan, they have it kind of expanded or even FedEx, it's super tight. So let's say you're back to our original thing we're working on. You want to go even tighter, but you don't want to go too tight. Cause let's say I go back to negative, but I go too much negative, negative 30. I'm all over myself. How about negative 20? Kind of close to their actual logo, which is here. That's the spoiler. But let's go, let's start over and I'll show you how quickly you can get where you want to go. So delete that. Let's actually use the real logo as a reference. So here's a quick shortcut. If you push control and then scroll out on your mouse, it kind of pulls away from the landscape. And then same thing, if you push control and then scroll in, it pulls in. So you can find other parts of the landscape you're working on. So I'll pull in the real logo. This is the actual Crate and Barrel logo. It's very close to Aereo for, I looked it up. This is a $1.6 billion company and they use mostly Arial. You'll see the difference though. So let's go back to text selection and we'll go to Crate and Barrel. So if we're using them just as a design exercise to see how close we can get. So first we're gonna go to, make sure you're on text selection tool, and then we're gonna have to go negative on the, on the kern, so negative eight, and we get pretty close. Now that this, the capital C is definitely different, but the R, the A, the T has a little bit more of a cap, the E, the ampersand, it's very similar. So for the ampersand, we can just backspace, and that pulls it in, but it looks like we wanna go even closer. So up here, this character spacing tool kind of affects the whole, either word or you can do the entire um, selection but there's another shortcut here let's first zoom in i'm going to show you so control zoom in and uh, just pull up from the bar here okay so the b and the a this is the real logo is real close so let's go to ours and we are pretty close so the shortcut is you want to get your text selection tool between the two letters that you want to affect and then click I'll hold alt and use the arrow key, just the actual right left arrow and go the direction you want. So let's see, that is pretty tight. Let's go check the uh, original. Let's actually make our ours similar. Okay, we're close, we're close. Uh, but then we'd have to do the next one too. So same thing, so text selection tool, go between the two letters, alt, and then hold the arrow key, the direction you want. And I experimented with some other actual fonts. So Arial is pretty common, and I guess it's a well-built font, so it's, you can manipulate it quite a bit. Some of those fancy fonts you might download or you buy in a package, they look awesome, but they don't quite have the flexibility that something massive, like it's very common, like Arial. So test it out on your own and have fun with it. So zoom out, crate and barrel. And barrel going bold with the aerial, <laughs> except for the C. Someone, someone paid a lot of money for that C.